What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to do something a little bit special. We're going to be checking out a game that I actually haven't played since release. And I know that doesn't sound special because that's basically what I do on this channel is I keep tabs on like a thousand different games so that you don't have to. But Warhammer Vermintide 2 is about to get a full expansion very, very shortly on the 13th, I believe. And so I've gotten back into the game recently and we're here to talk about the game, play it for a little while, and decide whether or not if you play this game at release or any time in between then and now, if it's worth getting back into. So if you don't know what Warhammer Vermintide 2 is, it's a cooperative PvE game, very much like Left 4 Dead, or like, I guess World War Z would be another game along that line, or like Killing Floor. Uh, the difference is this game is more like Left 4 Dead than Killing Floor, because Killing Floor is kind of an arena shooter. This game is a cooperative PvE melee game where you fight your way through the worlds of Warhammer Fantasy during the end times when the Skaven have essentially erupted from the Earth to annihilate humanity, and you're kind of like these special forces comprised of dwarves and humans and elves and everybody else trying to stop it from happening. Uh, this is my guy right here, Marcus Kruber. He's the hero that I'm currently playing and leveling up. Every single class has three different deviations that all have different abilities and different stats and stuff that they do. So, for example, in the case of Marcus, this is kind of his, like, middle-of-the-road build. Kind of his offensive build, I guess. Uh, this is his range build right here if you wanted to be a huntsman. And then you can also be, like, a lance connector or, like, a foot knight if you wanted to make him more defensive and more of a tank. Uh, you can equip any weapon on any one of these three classes, but certain weapons are better for certain classes because they allow them to do their job better. Along the way, you're going to level up, you're going to get lots of random loot, and you're going to slowly increase your power level until you're badass enough to take on all of the legions of chaos. So let's play the game. We're going to run through a round today. Right now, I'm playing as Marcus, and I got myself a big old claymore. If you wanted to see what the inventory menu looks like where you equip yourself before you go through and into a mission, you can do that through here with the I key. I've got a sword. I've got a handgun, which is basically a sniper rifle. It's kind of like a huge caliber musket that, like, snipes people. We've got a legendary amulet. We've got a Reikland stone crest, and then we've also got a token of Manan. And all of this is increasing my power level and giving me various bonuses to stats and crit and stuff like that so that I can do my job better. Every single class also has a talent tree that you can go through. And as you get five levels, you can put things into either one of these. You can swap these freely once you've leveled up to that level. It's up to you. There's also an extensive crafting system in the game where you can break down items and get powders to make new items. So in the case that I wanted to, like, craft something let's say that we wanted oh I don't know let's say that we wanted a halberd I could go in right there and I could craft that and bim bam bomb I now have a green halberd actually we got lucky with that one so there's the green halberd right there in addition if we wanted to we could go through and we could actually upgrade these items as well and I could turn this into something a little bit more sexy like that right there a 172 recruits chopping stock it's not as good as the Recruit's Greatsword that I have right now, which is legendary, but, you know, that's how the crafting system works, and you can do with it what you will. Uh, other things that you can focus on during the course of the game, there's challenges that you can do during every single mission that'll unlock more of these loot crates over here. So after every single mission, you'll get, like, maybe, like, one to three to five loot crates that you open up that just have, like, ra random Diablo-style loot inside of them. Sometimes they have cosmetics, like new hats and new armors and stuff like that, too. Or new cosmetics for your weapons, of which there are many. Unfortunately, I don't have anything for this greatsword right now. But I do have a bunch of other cosmetics. I don't know where the cosmetics are actually lifted, or where they're actually listed. But I do have a bunch of cosmetics that I've gotten for, like, sword and board and mace and shield and guns and stuff like that. So anyways, let's queue up a mission. Let's get in here. Let's fight some Skaven and see if we can have ourselves a good time. I'm going to go ahead and we'll just do a quick play. All right, so here we are in the lobby. We just got to move over to the portal, and then we'll be able to dive on into this thing and get it done. My power level should be appropriate for the difficulty that I'm playing on. As of right now, there's like four difficulties, as I recall, that you can pick from. Uh, all of them are cumulatively harder than the one before, and so you kind of want to level up a little bit, but the game does allow you to kind of play at your own pace. Uh, for veteran difficulty, you kind of want to be around like 300 power level before you jump up to the next difficulty. For recruit level, you kind of want to be at like 100-ish or so before you jump up to veteran difficulty. And that's what actually what I like about the game is you can sort of tailor make your experience. Our old acquaintance, Burble Spew Hail Scourge, has started to summon a plague mist large enough to cloak the whole town. Good for the Northlanders, bad for the rest of us. There's a guildsman's lift that'll get you close to where he's playing, silly buggers. Change the weather foreshowing. 
by ending that thieving lard gut by any means necessary. Okay, so we've got ourselves a rogue sorcerer who's deciding to call down a plague on the city, and we've got to stop him. Let's rotate on in and get this thing done. And we are getting bonuses right now for playing on quick play, so we're going to get, like, additional... We're going to get higher quality loot at the end of the mission because we did quick play. All right. This feels like a trap. I mean, it probably is a trap. Of course, the game comes equipped with all of the dialogue that you would expect from a game like Left 4 Dead. The characters banter with each other. You learn their backstories through the conversation. Stuff like that. We got Chaos Warriors running around over here. Is there anything back up in here? We got to look around for loot. There might be something good in this area. Uh, there are special infected, essentially, that will try to drag you off and your teammates have to help you. You have no way of freeing yourself from those enemies. Man, they're moving along, huh? They're moving quickly. I'm going to get left behind out here. I was trying to, I was trying to look for loots. Oh, I was going to get him with an aerial attack by jumping over, but it didn't work. Where's the enemy at? Where's the enemy at? Yeah, let me get some, let me get some swipes in right there. That man doesn't deserve to have a head. Mm-hmm, take that, Minion of Chaos. The Helden Hammer strikes down upon you by the name of Sigma. Uh, inside the levels, there are secrets you can find that also increase the quality of the loot that you'll get at the end, namely loot dice, which drop off of enemies. Uh, so big, beefy enemies like bosses and stuff that you can either skip over or you can kill. Oh, he's got a flamethrower. Yeah, let's get rid of him. That dude's not what I'm trying to mess with. Did you just shove me, bro? Did you just shove me? That's very, very impolite. I'm going to chop this dude's head off. There we go. That dude's head is now off. It's gone. It has been destroyed. But anyway, oh, an, oh, he got his head chopped off already. He's just kind of standing there shocked about the whole situation. But anyways, uh, the other things you can find is there's hidden tomes all over the map that usually have, like, jumping puzzles or little hidden areas where those are. And then there's also grimoires. The grimoires will nerf your HP for the rest of the match, but if you can manage to complete the match after having yourself nerfed, you get, like, crazy good loot. And so, between all of those things, you can end up with some pretty swell stuff at the end of every single match. He's playing a Troll Slayer right now. We got the Bright Wizard over there, and then it looks like we've got ourselves... She's wearing High Elf stuff, but normally she's a Wood Elf, so I assume that that's a skin. Or one of her subclasses makes her into a High Elf instead of a Wood Elf. Alright, where's the enemy at? I got this. I got this. Yep. That's how we do it. Throw a little grenade action out there. Get ourselves into the fray. Wipe out a couple of bad guys. Put a little bit of damage on them. Oh, and the horn has been sounded. We have a horde coming. Ooh, that was a good grenade. That was a really good grenade. That was a good one right there. Luckily, there shouldn't be anybody coming from behind us. So we should be all right to just hold this pass right here. Spartan style. Are there more of you coming? All right, I'm just going to keep swinging. When in doubt, just keep swinging. That's my rule for this game. Hey, you need to, like, protect yourself. I know you're the wizard or whatever, but you gotta... There we go. We'll wipe him out real quick with a sniper rifle. Get him laid out real fast. I need some more bullets. Oh, there's a little shelter over here. All right, I'm coming with you then. We'll split up. We'll go by twos. You should always practice the buddy system in this game if you can. Like, because if one of them gets grabbed by, like, one of the random little sneak thieves, you're gonna end up with a hard time in front of you. Oh, there's another assassin rat. That's not good. I see you. You ain't getting away from me. I see you, little buddy. You ain't running from me. There we go. There we go. Let me get that Let me get that potion right there, too. I need me some heals. Heals is the good... Oh, they got a chaos warrior over here. I feel bad for leaving him then. We shouldn't have left him. That's one of the big named boss guys. I, I feel kind of guilty for breaking off. They kind of needed help with that. Oh, I killed a rat. I didn't mean to, but it kind of happened. You're dead already? What has killed you? Maybe an archer shot you? Seems likely. Eh, I think we've got our crossing over point right here. Our dwarf's doing a pretty good job of just like... Well, that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, and then the slaver's going to try to grab one of us while we're trying to get this rescue. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Save my little buddy right there. Save my little buddy before he ends up both short and dead instead of just the former. 
All right, so what do we have going on over here? I think there's a tome around here somewhere. Pretty sure there's a tome over on this part of the map. Uh, the map design in this game is pretty peerless, actually. It's got really, really good map design. Like, you can tell somebody put a lot of love and care into the map in this game. Like, there's a bunch of them, too. There's 13 maps just in the first campaign, and I think there's five or six in the next couple campaigns and episodes, too. So, if you're looking for a lot of content to play through... It took me round about 16 hours to play every single mission in the first campaign, like all 16 or 17 of them, I guess. Uh, the game does have an active block, active dodge system. I don't really block that much because I'm more of a damage dealer. Uh, if I was running a sword and board, a sword and board right now, I'd be blocking and tanking a bit more efficiently. But there's really no point with the claymore. The claymore, you kind of want to dodge around a lot and just deal a ton of damage. Uh, protect this flank right here real fast so that they don't fold. Sometimes you got to support the team. Like, I know they're getting all the kills right now, and I'm getting none of the kills. So I'm going to look bad in the scorecard, but protecting that flank is more important for right now. Where is our dwarf running off to right now? Oh, okay. That would be a time for a block right there. We'll go ahead and block that real quick. Oh, what is he doing? Uh, there is a bomb over here. I don't know what he's doing. He's running off by himself. There we go. I'm just I'm just trying to make sure he's all right and doesn't get grabbed by one of the specials. Or if I get grabbed by one of the specials, somebody's nearby to kind of retrieve me. But so far, this mission's going pretty swimmingly. Then again, this group we got through the random queue, they're a little bit, like, leveled up for this. So they've got pretty good, like, you know, I'll wipe him out real quick so he doesn't jump up and become a problem later. I think they've got him covered. I don't think they need my help over here. I'm going to wipe him out, too. Kill a couple elites. All right. Things are looking good right now. I think we're in solid shape. There is a tome around here somewhere on one of these houses. I think it's down the stairwell in that house right there. I think. I don't know that for certain, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, do we have another horde coming? I think we do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a tome over here. Oh, there's a grim over here. Okay. I don't know if they're trying to speed run this or not. I'm not really sure what's going on. Either way, though, we got other problems. Hold on. Sorcerer. Why is he not dying? I very clearly shot him. All right, so bad news. The host left. He, like, bailed on us. He decided he didn't want to play with us anymore. Probably because he got knocked off that ledge. I was going to go get him, but apparently he decided to re-out and just, like, not play anymore. So we're in a new mission now, which it's kind of a bummer because I wanted to show you guys, like, an entire mission unabridged. And I don't know if we'll make it through this one in time. We're going to give it our best go, but no guarantees. But we're with a new team, new level now. All right. So let's get back into it. This time around, the Skaven have erected a skitter gate. So we got to destroy that and then take the teleporter to go to Norska, which is where all of these Chaos Reavers come from. All right. So as I was saying, that explains why that last guy wouldn't get shot either is because it was a DC. Kind of a bummer, but these things happen. The game is peer-to-peer, -peer, so if peer-to-peer -peer drives you crazy, uh, that will probably bother you. Like, you actually host the game. That's normally why I host myself, to make sure that that never happens. But for the sake of expediency and loot, I decided to go with quick play, and it bit me in the ass. Because Murphy's Law is apparently in full effect right now. But, you know, the missions are mostly just me walking forward while cleaving things in half anyway. So there's not going to be that much of a difference between here and there. And plus, you get to see two different varieties of enemies now. Instead of all the chaos guys, I'm going to, like, shoot those dudes. There we go. Let's just, like, get rid of the lookouts because I'm vicious. Like, oop, this potion's mine. Yoink. Taking it. Taking it. What are you guys doing? You guys up to anything interesting over here? You having, like, a weird little Skaven barbecue? What are you guys doing over here? Do you guys know about a tome that I don't know about? Okay. Well, they already killed that wizard. No biggie. No. Oh, there was a Grim up here. So apparently we're doing a Grim run right now. All right, you can see at the bottom of my screen, that right there, they found a Grimoire. You see how my health disappeared at the bottom? Everybody's health has that little bar on it now. We are now doing the rest of the mission slightly nerfed. Go ahead and give him a little bit of an aerial assault right there. Teach him a lesson, Little Mermaid style. What else we got going on? Yeah, you know who I am. You know who I am. I'm Marcus Kruber. I'm here to kill me some rats. Uh, there is another health potion over there. I was trying to tag it, and I got smacked. Oh, there's a... 
There we go. Go ahead and get rid of him. We got a mini gun rat over there. You're trying to jump up here, aren't you? Well, see, the problem with that is that I don't really want you up here. I'm not a giant fan of you being in this area. Oh, there's a horde. Okay. Well, they're, like, coming up behind us, though, so watch out for that, I suppose. I'm going to go face the horde down here. We're going to try and... There we go. We'll kind of veto their ascent from this side. Hmm. Getting chewed on pretty good right now. Yeah, I'm taking more damage than I'd like. But we are dealing a lot of damage, too. Like, we are killing a lot of stuff. Are they behind me right now? They're behind me, aren't they? Yeah, I was going to say. I got that familiar butt feeling where something's behind me and my butt hurts. It's a common feeling for me. It happens frequently. Oh. Hey, bud. How are you? Would shoot him in the face, maybe. There we go. See how much damage I can deal before he gets up here and becomes a problem. There you go. Light him on fire. Light him on fire. This is a mini boss. It's a rat ogre. There's a couple different mini bosses that I've seen so far. There's like a big chaos demon. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do what you're doing right now. Ow. Oof, I got slapped. I had my block up, but I don't think it broke the animation like I wanted it to. These things happen. Alright, there we go. Just throw one of those on real quick. Keep myself nice and healthy. I don't see any reason to kind of... Oh, we got loot dice? Nice. I like loot dice. Loot dice are good. What are you guys up to down here? Nothing? Just like reading rat books? Alright, I'm going to shoot you. I don't really want to fight you the old-fashioned way, but I will if I have to. You can only hurt these guys because they've got armor on. Uh, the black rats or whatever they're called. You can only kill them with heavy strikes. And so they can... Unless, unless, there is a, there is a modifier to that. If I was using a two-handed warhammer, any weapon with the armor-piercing modifier on it, you can actually just light strike them and it'll still deal a ton of damage. Like, you can two-strike the elites if you've got a warhammer or, like, a mace or something like that. Works pretty good. Well, maybe not with the maze, but with the two-handed warhammer, yeah, definitely. Works pretty works pretty solidly, if I do say so myself. I do have a special ability. If you're wondering what the purple skull is down there with the F, it's my special ability. It's an AoE knockback that also gives people a whole bunch of temporary health. Uh, we kind of want to save that for when the team is in dire need so that it knocks everything down, allows us to get some breathing space, and restores some health. Uh, we don't really want to be spamming that unless everybody's already at low health. Everybody's already struggling. God, there's warp stone everywhere down here. That's not good. Uh, ooh, a loot die. Nice. I'll take that. I will also take that ravaged art right there. Uh, the ravaged art, it allows you to put it inside of the keep, that place we started out at the beginning of the episode. Uh, inside that castle, you can hang pictures and stuff like that to like kind of customize the place a bit if you want. Did I miss? I missed. I don't miss. What kind of shenanigans is that? thought I hit him. I really felt like that was a hit. I need some more ammo. Let me let me get some more snipies. Need a few more snipies. I should probably leave some of it for the elf. She needs ammo a lot more than other people do, but I find that people don't kill the specials very fast. And I tend to kill the specials a little bit quicker with my sniper rifle than other people do. Oh, he broke my guard. What a jerk. What a jerk. That's what those little shields are on screen. Didn't really talk about that, but blocking is limited. You can't just spam that forever. Uh, you've got a number of shields. Light attacks will get rid of one shield. Heavy attacks will break all of them most of the time. That's the skitter gate right there. I think that's the thing that we're trying to go through. I wonder if it's going to like open up a bridge. Like, How are we going to get over there? I don't know if I've seen this level before. Yeah, there it is. Go through the skitter gate. This seems like an awful plan. There's only four of us. It's not like we're a full-on invasion or anything. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel confident about the whole four-man invasion thing. There you go. Flame them up, lady. Flame them up. Get them softened for me. Get them nice and crispy. There we go. Just detach his head from his shoulders real fast. Oh, this is a terrible plan. I don't want to do this at all. The skitter gate is not going to work out well. Yikes. 
Well, we're definitely in Norska now. We've got one of the slave rats over here. There we go. Need that ammo. He's got a healing Did somebody... Oh, there was a pack rat over here. Nice. Well, I'll take the med supplies then. Good. We got a pretty good chance of getting really solid loot on this one. We need to find like a tome or two though, and I get the feeling we probably left one behind. But that loot rat right there just gave us a ton of medical supplies, so easy street from here on in. We got everything that we needed. Good stuff. I was going to say, that dude's going to try and break my guard, isn't he? I can smell it coming. I was like, he's going to break my guard, and it's going to be all stingy, and it's going to hurt. Uh, let's see. Is there any more healing stuff over here? Yeah, I was going to say, we have, like, this giant healing thing over here. We might as well. I only lost, like... I only lost, like, one HP, so... Yeah, she might as well. I mean, there's so many potions over there that it's like, why not? Oh, she heals for shields instead of for health. That's interesting. She must have some special perk that does that. All right. Well, let's continue on up the mountain. Let's get him out of the way. I thought maybe I should block him for a second, but like, eh. Yeah, I don't know what the plan is. Was the plan? I thought the plan was to destroy the Skitter Gate, and now we've gone through the Skitter Gate. This is several different flavors of unnerving. As expected, the Skitter Gate's buggered. Time for a gatekeeper hunt, mates. So we gotta find the Skittergate key staff. You think you have to apply for that job? Or is that something you get assigned? Is that like a government job in Norska? Like, how do you get to be the Skittergate overseer, you know what I mean? I assume you would need, like, some level of, like, engineering experience, but I don't know. I like how that guy had, like, a little, like, NBA, like, hop warm-up real fast before he came in to get his face knocked off. I was gonna say, that looked like a place we could go. No, we can't go up there. Looks cold here. It looks really, really cold. This place seems like it sucks. Oh, I thought he was going to charge me. There we go. Let's give them a little shove just to kind of get them on their heels. What's up, guys? How you doing? Fancy just like a tiny little bit of damage? Oof. That was a good kill right there. She just saved my life. She just saved my life. Anything else hiding around here? A strength potion. Just in case you're into that kind of thing. Oh, we've got a horde coming. Well, luckily, this is a pretty good place to fight from, so we'll do our best here. Definitely not the worst place. And we've got a good split on the team. We got one melee and one ranged on each defensive location, so not that worried about it. We're gonna be alright. They all gotta climb this cliff before they can get up here, and she's got real strong AoE. There we go. Yep, ain't nobody making it up this hill. This hill's a kill zone, my friends. This hill is a kill zone. Make a pretty good team, me and the Bright Wizard. Make a pretty good team. Especially holding a pass like this. Alright, we're good over there. Killed them all. There's the leftovers of our carnage. Good God, so much. But you're probably like watching this video wondering like, alright, so you've been playing for a while, should I get the game? Well right now the game is on discount. Um, and I think the game is better than it's ever been before. Back when this game first came out, uh, the loot was really hard to get. It was really grindy because there wasn't a lot of content, and so the developers made it super grindy to kind of compensate for that. Uh, now the loot flows pretty freely. There's a big variation in com like in content numbers. Like there's lots of maps. There's a brand new expansion coming out in like three days that like they've already put some of the stuff inside the castle. 
um, that's going to be used for the expansion. And from what I've seen, there's like four or five places now that you can't even interact with yet that seem like they've got like spell weaving and a bunch of other stuff going on too. And so I think it's going to be pretty rad. I'm actually fairly excited for it. They got me to come back to the game after not playing for a year. And so far, like, everything feels a lot better than it did at release. Like, the melee combat is really satisfying. The map design is second to none. The graphics are really, really good. Uh, the game is just all around enjoyable. Uh, you might be seeing a lot of negative reviews on the game recently. Uh, there is a reason for that if you go to the Steam store. It's because the developers made adjustments to the legendary difficulty, which is a basically like the hyper elite. Like, if you ever played Left 4 Dead, it's the realism mode in this game. And so the realism community is very, very upset at the moment about those changes. And so that, like, big rally of downvotes is not coming from, like, the general community. It's coming from, like, the best of the best of the best players. And so if you're like me and you're never planning on playing the game, like, on the highest difficulties, you just kind of want to, like, farm out some loot and maybe play on, like, the second highest difficulty, then I don't think you really need to worry about those complaints too much. But if you're wondering after watching this video why you went to the Steam page and there's so many negative reviews, that's why. The reviews are being brigaded right now by a bunch of people who are upset about some of the changes to the end game content at the moment. So you'll, it'll be your task to look into that and, you know, see if that's something that bothers you um, about getting the game or not. If you're like me where you don't really care about playing on the highest difficulty, it's a non-factor. The difficulty that I'm playing on right now, which is the normal difficulty, is a ton of fun. And it's really, really enjoyable. And I really highly recommend it. If you're a Warhammer fan, if you're a co-op fan, if you're a whatever fan, you know. I wasn't reloaded. I made a mistake right there. So anyways... Uh, I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on into the Nerd Castle for another video. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. I hope I put this game back on your radar because I really, really like it. And the expansion's about to come out. And I've been streaming it on Twitch TV. And I've been having just a blast, man. I've been having all kinds of fun. So I'll see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit it with a like. It helps me out as a content creator a ton. I'll see you all later. Hi, do. And take care, everybody.